things that I like about the late model F-150, you know, the all aluminum F-150. Uh, so yeah, some of the things that I like is uh, number one, the power inverter. So this truck has a uh, built-in power inverter. It's got an outlet right here in the back and it's got one right here in the front. And I really like, you know, I really like it. And it's not just their, their cheap power inverter. This one's pumping like 400 watts. I don't know where it tells you. I think it's right here. 400 watt power inverter. Uh, it keeps your laptop charging and keeps your your other accessories charging. And my wife also has a power inverter in her Edge, but I don't think it's quite as much wattage because it doesn't keep the it doesn't keep the laptop charging up like this one. Because this one has two outlets, and then that one her her Edge with the smaller one, it only has one outlet and it struggles to keep the laptop going. Whereas this one, it can keep a laptop going and keep your your phones going. It can keep your your camera batteries charging. Everything can all can all, all charge at once. Now, another thing that I like about it is this flat loading floor. Obviously, you all know the F-150's got a flat floor in the back. Great to uh, great for the dog. We got a really big dog, and even though it's just an extended cab, it's perfect for him because he can stand up right down in the middle. You hit the brakes, and he don't really move around because he's just like right there in the middle he just stands there As you see his fur is all over I don't know if you can see that but that's pretty much permanently there I've been trying to vacuum it off and it won't come off but uh yeah love the flat floor and the seats that go up really easily uh, drops real easy uh, it'd be cool if I had a crew cab but this I mean this is big enough uh, another cool feature is these doors they can slide all the way or they can swing all the way back that's a pretty cool little feature. So when you're in a grocery store in a tight place, you're trying to put groceries in the back, and there's another car. There's another car next to you. This little door is short enough to go like this, and then you can swing it all the way and get in here. So that's a nice little feature. Uh, I love the black interior. The black cloth hides a lot of dirt. It's nice to have. I mean, a lot better than like a tan or a gray. Uh, another thing is the center console is just huge. I like that nice big spot to rest your arm. Obviously, the 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 center mounted uh, shifting is great. Uh, I like the buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, they're very very good buttons. At first, I was a little bit nervous when I first uh, thought about getting the truck because I thought the buttons were going to be just too big, and I would always be accidentally pressing the buttons. But they're very deliberate. So they did a good job really think uh, thinking out where they're going to put the buttons. The voice activated stuff is pretty much garbage. Uh, I don't use that at all. Uh, the phone dialing is pretty much, you never use you never use these buttons here with the phone and all that. Uh, someone calls and then you, I usually hit answer here on the, on the screen. But I guess you could, I don't know. But these buttons are very tactile and deliberate like you're never gonna accidentally like press it but when you're turning the wheels I know my last Chevy it, the buttons were smaller and there'd be times where I accidentally pressed the buttons because they were just lighter to the touch buttons they were they were light easy to press buttons where these ones when you're driving you're not gonna accidentally press one of these buttons at all because they're very deliberate tactile buttons so I like that feature uh, Another cool feature is having those that that window in the back. So if you're looking at getting one of these trucks, make sure you get one with that window in the back because once you open that up, uh, and you open that you open up the back window and then the side windows, you get like a vortex of air flowing through the truck and back out of it. So you get much better airflow having that back window open compared to just having a solid rear window. So one of the main things to look for is you know get in that back window uh heated seats you know xlts you know the mid trim levels are getting real real high end now i mean you get heated seats on a truck like this which is awesome this is not like a platinum or a lariat or anything you know once you get up there you get like you get you get cooled and uh you get cooled seats and stuff like that but this you get a full touch screen which is great for a mid-level truck and you get heated seats now five six years ago you would have had to get like the lariat to even get into that stuff but now i guess technology is getting a little bit cheaper and you can get uh a little more tech with 
with uh, with, with what you what you buy. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, glove compartment. It's whatever. One thing I'm missing is a trailer brake. I gotta make sure the next truck I get has a trailer brake. Uh, I got a dual axle trailer, and technically you gotta have a trailer brake to pull it. And don't got it. Be nice if I did. Four by four. It's cool. It's a nice little feature is to have this pop out. Check to see if you got that. That pop out. You pull it out and it locks the rear end. So you do that and you get really good traction. You basically locking out the rear end under like 10 miles an hour. So that's cool to have along with your four wheel drive. That's a must in my area. Um, what else is there? The audio could be a little better. It's not premium. It's not the Sony or whatever. I think they even got rid of Sony now and went with another higher end provider. <laughs> so yeah, the main thing, I just did a video on this, but the, whoa, what the fuck? Jeez, just swiping up stuff? Wow, my wife must have did that. <sighs> Cause I don't, that didn't hit nothing. I don't understand how that happened, but uh, anyway main feature of this engine uh, or the main feature of this truck is the engine and real quick I'll just go over some of the key features I just did a video on this anyway but dual overhead cam dual overhead variable valve so both the intake and exhaust camshafts are variable so as it goes through the RPM band they both the intake and the exhaust have cam phasers, which can adjust in real time to give you the best performance. Cool technology. Uh, that integrated exhaust manifolds, which are water-cooled, also great technology. Uh, I believe the turbos are water-cooled as well. Mounted right to the heads. Adds power. Adds efficiency. Lowers the weight of the motor. CGI block. Uh, oil filter mounted to the top makes it easy to change the oil. I think it makes it easier. Uh, electronic steering, I believe, and I think it has maybe that's a vacuum pump. I don't know, but um, cool feature here this this intake, this air intake is like a almost like a snorkel. If you look at like the casting or the stamping, if you look at the stamping on the hood here, this little cutout right here fits right on top of this air filter so it can suck cold air in. It looks like this is all sealed with this rubber here and then this gets pretty close so essentially you're sucking your cold air from the grill area so all your air is coming in through here through your grill then it's going up through these holes right here right here and this has all been blocked off this little area here has been blocked off so that air is literally coming in through your intake I mean through your grill area here and then it's coming up through here and look at this line like you can see like the dirt mark it's pretty interesting you can see the dirt mark from the from the air you can actually see the flow of air coming in you can from the dirt like right here it's all clean then right here look how dirty that is that's because air is actually coming in through the grill through this whole entire grill so it doesn't get more cold air than that you know you got cold air coming in through the grill, popping up through here, through these holes right here. Obviously popping right up through the latch here, this big opening. And then coming up through here. And then scooped in with these little flaps. These are designed, and honestly it looks like it fits really good. Like you can clearly see a line here of the airflow. So that's pretty cool. That is a cool thing that they don't really talk about much. So this is all form fit so that the air gets sent right to that intake. That's pretty cool. That's a nice feature. So my name's Sean. Thank you for watching Donna Sean. Uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to hear from you. Let me know what you guys, uh, let me know the cool features that you guys have on your trucks. And uh, I'll try and leave a video response for you. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.